Hey what's going on guys, Fitz here and welcome to another Torchlight 3 video. Today I'll show you how you can get permanent bonus to gear lock, gold lock, fire resist and poison resist. First let me just briefly explain them for those who are new to the game or ARPGs in general. Gear lock also known as magic find is a stat that determines how lucky you are in finding high quality loot. Gold Lock, also known as Gold Find, determines how often and how much gold will drop for your character. Fire Resist and Poison Resist determines how much damage reduction your character has for those elements. So with those out of the way, let's get into it. The first thing that you need is your fort. You unlock it really early in the game. When you open your world map, it's the third area from the beginning. So this is where your fort is located. Now there are other paths or tracks and these are other people's fort. So when you go here, you will see some random fort and vice versa. When other people go here, then your fort might show up to their game. So. Once you unlock your fort, then you just need to build the necessary structures. So let's start with gear lock. Now you basically press F to customize your fort and it's on functional. So, well, since I already have my tree up here, so it's not here on the list. So let me just open the ancient tree lock so basically i already maxed out the bonus which is plus five percent gear lock now this is the xp bar for the lock tree and these symbols here are kind of like levels so now you just need to donate any items and the tree will gain xp it's better to donate unused legendary items or rare items. Now, if you donate legendary items, then you'll get more XP or your tree will get more XP. So when you fill this bar, then the next symbol will light up indicating you already leveled up. So the maximum level is level five. Now, you actually start with just like a sprout and then as you level your tree and you donate items or sacrifice items, then it will eventually grow to this big magnificent tree. Now, let's go to the next bonus which is your poison defense or poison resist. So, when you go to your customize fort and under functional it's under monuments so it's the hyvids bane weed now you'll start as like this one and then it will eventually grow bigger just like the ancient tree so the maximum level is plus five percent bonus just like the ancient tree and as you can see here this is the progress bar for this structure now you need hyvids being plant and you get that from defeating enemy insect types or insect type enemies so i already leveled it to level two that's why i have plus two poison defense so let's try offering some trophies it's actually very little but that's okay now as you play the game like just from the campaign itself then you'll get a lot of these okay so I don't have enough to reach level 3 but that's fine so if you max this out then this structure will grow bigger and you'll get a permanent 5% poison defense now the next one is gold find so it's actually called the functional fortunato if you max this out then you'll get plus five percent 
gold luck. So in addition to your existing gold luck stat. Now you get you need to feed Automaton Gizmos to this thing. So you get that from defeating Automaton enemies. So they are like they're robotic type enemies. So just like my forge. All right, let's try offering some. Okay, looks like I have enough to reach level three. Okay, there you go. So now I have permanent plus 3% gold luck. All right, now let's go to, okay, before that, since it looks like I don't have enough for level four, then that's fine. Let's move on to the last one, which is for the fire resist or fire defense. So basically, it, you build the Peking World Nasher. It looks like the head of a goblin. And to you need to feed Goblin Fury to this monument. So you just need to defeat any goblin type enemies and you'll get some goblin fury and right now i have 500 plus so it looks like we'll have enough for level three hopefully level four okay let's offer the points okay notice that the structure should change when once we level up okay now we're level three and it grew bigger or basically it evolved and we have plus five or plus three percent fire defense okay let's try offering more okay looks like the xp bar is moving really slow we may not have enough for level four okay that's it so once you max this out then you'll get plus 5% fire defense or resist in addition to your existing fire defense. All right, now just a few more tips before we end this video. Let me just switch character. Okay, now I switch character and basically this is just to show you what are the effects of the uh, monuments so let's just open the inventory this is a low level character obviously and i remove all the gear so currently we have plus three fire defense plus two poison defense plus three percent gold lock and plus 25 percent gear lock so let's check out the fire defense first all right, now I have a level three breaching world nasher, so I get plus three percent fire defense. If I open the inventory to check the stats, then I have plus three fire defense. Now, let's say you max out all the buildings or structures and you want to remove them. Let's see what happens. Okay, for example, this goblin statue so we put it in our inventory now let's check the stat again so now the fire assist is gone so basically you need to keep the structures in your fort if you remove them then you'll also lose your permanent bonus all right let's install it back okay just place from inventory all right check out our stats there you go our fire defense plus three percent is back okay now plus two percent poison defense because my hive its bane is only level two and gold lock is because the structure here is only level three now the reason why my gear lock is at 25% is because I'm playing on the hardest difficulty, as you can see here, which is ridiculous. And it gives you plus 20% gear lock. 
So plus 20% your luck and then plus the bonus from the tree 5% then it's a total of 25%. If you actually play with someone else like at least two you'll get additional bonus to gear luck. So if you have someone else to play with then it's better to play this multiplayer. So that's all for the bonus stats and I hope this was helpful. If you like this video then clicking the like button does help us out and you probably can consider subscribing. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.